Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Services Integration Framework that is SAFE and today's session we will see Delete API. So Delete is the API which is used to delete the record in the MDM Hub. There are two classes available for the Delete API. Those are Delete Request and Delete Response. The main characteristics are Delete API is used to delete the base object record. Of course, we cannot delete the base object record directly. We have to delete the XREF. So if it has a multiple XREFs, we have to delete all the active XREFs in order to get the base object record get deleted. We can also use Delete API to delete a particular XREF record. So we can delete all the XREF record or we can delete only one record as well. If we delete all the records from the XREP, the base object record get automatically deleted. So this is the use of the delete API. When our XREP record is deleted, the state of base object record is reset to its XREP record state that has the higher precedence. For example, Consider one record which is survived in the base object has the three active XREF record. The row ID objects or the row ID XREF for the each record is suppose one, two, three. Out of these three, the record two is survived in the base object. Then the other two are row ID object or row ID XREF one and three. Suppose if the row ID XREF two got deleted from the xref then out of one and three the winner will be decided and that will become survived record in the base object similarly if you delete a one record then the third will be the winner if you delete the third record as well then in the base object the record will be marked as a deleted so this is the meaning of what is the survive ship so survive ship precedence is or the order of precedence is we are the active pending and deleted so if the any uh, if record is suppose there are three record one is active one is pending and other is also active if we delete the active record then another active will be chosen as a survivor purpose if the second active record also deleted then the pending record will be become a survived so this is the order of pre uh, preference active will be chosen for the preference then the pending will be chosen and then finally deleted so this is the preference while the choosing the survivorship input parameters so input parameter consists of the one of the class that is record key record key consists of a unique identifier and the source system like the source key and the system name all the raw ID object which is unique record in the XREP table. The sample code will look like this. It has a delete request. We have to create delete request object using the new operator. Then we have the record key. In the record key we have to set the source system or we can set the raw ID XREP also. Then the system name. Once you create this record key we have to set in the array list. Why array list? Because Consider an XREP which can maintain so many records for a particular winning bio record. So if you want to delete all the records in a single request, we have the feasibility. That is the reason the array list is we need to populate. So create the object of array list and put the record key. So in this time, we have just put the one record key in this example, but we can put n number of resource uh, record keys in this array list. Once we populate that array list, we can set the record keys in the request object here in the line you can see and then finally we can call the package name and after that by using the cyber and client object that is which actually help us to get communication to the mdm hub we can call on that object a process method by passing the request and it will delete the record from the first in the except table and if there is no any other active records or no any other pending record, then it will delete the PO record as well at the same time. So before going to questions, so let's have the demo on this.
tutorial or on the delete api so what are the prerequisite first prerequisite is so delete restore or the promoting the pending excel record so those are mostly related to the state so whether the record is active deleted or pending so we have to must we must have to enable the state management so in order to enable the state management for example we have created the purse table that is for the person it has the columns such as first name last name and ssn along with that we have enabled the state so in order to enable the state you have to at the base object level we have to enable the timeline so we have to make the timeline as a dynamic timeline whenever you choose the dynamic timeline the history enable history property will automatically enable so that by that way we can ha have the history of the records how the state has changed so before going to delete or before going to activate the any record we have to make sure the timeline is enabled for that base object then along with that you have to create one package this because you have the feasibility to use the base object or you can use the package also so what are the package you are going to create that must be put enable and along with that you have to create that package based on the base object which is also have the state enable so if you are going to use package name make sure your base object is uh, the underlying base object inside this package has the timeline enable and this package should be put enable so these are the minimum requirement before proceeding to use the delete api let's see the next part so in order to perform a delete operation we have prepared some data so in the cb party table there are already two record one with the row id object 5 second with the row id object 2 in order to check the current state you can check it's a console uh, it's a hub state indicator hub state indicator is one that means both the records are active now we can go to the uh, history table uh, sorry except table and we'll see how many records are there currently there are total five records are there each having the different picky source and each uh, out of five one is deactive deactive is uh from is re deactive record is roidy or roid xref is one two three four and five are active records now let's see what is the full name or the what is the first name last name in order to understand the grouping so if you see the out the first four records have the name current point like tom bill and the last record with the roid object five having the robin paul as the first name and last name respectively so out of first four record one first is inactive so we have the remaining three so which is the winner so out of this the remaining three record the active record is two so row id object is two for that so that's the reason the row uh, row id x reps two is a winner in the base base object even we can verify one more time so in the base object two is the winner so let's try to deactivate the two record uh row id object two record and let's see whether the which will become a winner and what will be the hub state indicator in the base object as well as the hub state indicator in the except record currently hub state indicator for the row id one is a or row id xref one is a inactive all other are active so in order to deactivate or delete the record first we have created a delete api class you can give any name to this class we have the main method where we have created or we have initiated the cypen client instant by using the cypen client pool then on this api we have called the delete record method what this delete record method contains it contains our logic whatever we have discussed so far we have created the object of the delete request in the delete request uh, then we have created record key then we have system name if you see in the xref we have the system as a crm so that's the reason i put the system in as crm roid xf we will put as a 2 because we want to deactivate a record with roid xf 2 
then populate the array list by using this record key so record key is set in this array list and finally we put the package so pkg put first is the package which is put enable one which you just created or we are just saw which is based on the purse table which is timeline enable the next thing we once we set the package name we have to call the sipend clients process method and by we have to pass this request once we pass let's see how it behaves so it should ideally deactivate the raw id xref to record in the xref and we will see what will be the state in the base object in that case i'm running this job connection successful and delete request was processed successfully so let's go and check i'll just refresh the data now you can see in the xref table the row id of uh, row id xref2 got deactivated with the, uh, by saying the offset indicator minus 1 let's check out the corresponding base object now for the record to let me do the refresh so it is if you still see the half state indicator for the record to is one the reason is we have not done the trust we have not recalculated the trust once we recalculate trust out of these two means with row id uh, x rep 3 and row id x rep 4 well, one will be chosen as a winner and that will be populated in the base object so as we have not run the recalculate bo and we have not validated that's the reason the old value will be written so it is recommended when you do any delete or restore operation or any uh, state management change later operation recalculate bo is kind of recommended so this is the first api one which we saw now the second thing is because it has the multiple Roy, uh, X active X reps. That's the reason Bevo is also active. It is not deleted immediately. Okay. Now consider the second case. Second case is where we have the Roid X uh, Roid Phi Roid X rep as a Phi, which is only one winner. That is, if you see the Roid object in this X rep is Phi is only one record that means the corresponding record in the bo and the xref have the single entries so let even if you see in the bo we have the phi as a winner and the hub state indicator is plus one that is active in the xref also it is active record we can see the record phi is active now we will run the uh, row id xref as a phi and let's try it I'm running the Java program. Program is successful. Let's check out first xref. So already xref with five value has deactivated. We'll quickly check the pause table and just refresh. And you can see the already xref or the roid object phi got deactivated that means if you have only one x rep active only one x rep in the uh, except table and if you delete such record the record automatically get deleted from the base object if you have the multiple x reps in your except table then the the other active or the pending record will be survived in the base object table so these are the details about the how to delete or how to use the delete API in the safe. So let's have a quick view on the question. So this is question for all of you viewers who are interested to see my videos. You can mention or you can respond this answer to this question in this video below. The question is, is it possible to get a list of keys that uniquely identify the records to delete? For example, if you want to delete the all the record from the x rep but before deleting you want to check or you want to do some kind of validation so in order to do that if you want to get the all the list of keys one which will be deleted with this delete api call and is whether this is possible or not if it is possible how it can be achieved so you can answer to this question in the video below
I hope this video will, will, will definitely help you to understand the SIP APIs. Thank you for watching my video and have a wonderful time. Do not, sub, do not forget to subscribe my channel by clicking the click here to subscribe button. Thank you and have a nice time.